the DIY designer, you can see I am in the exact same outfit because we are filming all three of these back to back to back. They're super simple sweatshirt hacks. Last week we did the LNA one-sided cold shoulder sweatshirt and it was super easy. And today we're going to be tackling Sincerely Jewels and her really great slouchy short sleeve sweatshirt. And I'm gonna be adding a distressed element to it so that you guys can learn that technique because that's just a really useful technique because distressed lived in sweatshirts are so in right now that you can do it to anything that you own. So I've chosen to do it on this orange sweatshirt that I have. Let's do this thing materials. So I already cut the bottom of this, as you can see. And in order to get this uneven uh, hem, take your sweatshirt flat, just smush it all together, and then with your scissors, just cut across. So you would go like that. When you take it out, it has just these slight little imperfections and it looks really cool now to shred out the bottom that's really just going to be done with your fingers you're just going to go like this and start pulling all of these threads out okay so i have fringed out the edge like i said this is going to continue to happen naturally as you wear it as you wash it but at least we got a good head start now it's time to do some of those holes so you can see up here, do you see these holes that I did? This is the way you want the distressing to look. You don't want those cut out holes. It drives me nuts when I see like knockoff, like the cheaper, you know, distressed stuff. It literally looks like someone went like this. And just cut these slits. That would never happen naturally. That's not what distressing should be. So this is what we're gonna do. You're basically grading back and forth to create a hole. And if you, you can go hard, you can test a certain area and really see what's working, but you'll start to see it pull apart. Then you're gonna end up with these little holes. Where you start to see it come apart, stick in that area a little bit more and you'll really get that good shred. So see, that's what we want. Natural places where there should be shredding is all along any of the seams and along the neckline. So another way to create these kind of longer lines is instead of scraping, get the point of your scissor and run it like this a couple times and you'll get more of those longer lines. Oh my God, I made a face. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna change that because that's super weird. I'm gonna open that up. So there you go. When you're working on your neckline, you can do it too. A couple of little gashes in the neckline will be nice because again when that gets washed it'll rip open a little to create the type of sleeve that she had you really need a sweatshirt with a raglan sleeve this seam right here is what a raglan sleeve is called and it will create a much more flattering shape so you want a raglan sleeve if you're going to make a short sleeve sweatshirt you also want to go cut it to just above your elbow because we're going to cuff it and that makes it look really nice and clean on the edges so cut it a little bit longer i'm just going to cut straight across right there this as your guide for your other side. The cool thing about a, any sweatshirt is that it can be made reversible instantly. So you can see there was a tag right there. Can you see that little black dot? That was a tag and there was also a tag in the neckline. I removed them and now I can wear it and have my seams showing. And this is actually a trend. Um, take a look at this photo of Gigi Hadid. She's wearing a version like this that's inside out. So what you wanna do is when you're cuffing it, you're gonna roll twice. You can put a tiny bit of double stick tape right here and it will hold it and keep it crisp. But if you wanna then flip it inside out, you'll be able to flip it inside out, take off the tape, and then roll it this way. All right, well that is the completion of part two of the sweatshirt series. It's a really good one. I hope you guys use the distressing technique. It's super easy. Again, just be careful. Don't cut yourself like I did. I'm gonna go try this on and see how it looks, um, but I think it might be one of my favorites. Orange is the color of the season. 
And now I'm soups on trend. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you guys share this one with a friend who you think might like it. And remember that part three of this series will be coming up in just a couple days. So I'll see you right back here in just a few days. Thanks for watching. I love you guys.